hello to everyone. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Um, I would like to share with you some thoughts on the updated uh, German national hydrogen strategy. Thank you very much for showing the slides. Um, uh, Germany has adopted its first national hydrogen strategy in 2020. And um, this year, uh, after long and um, very intense discussions within the German government, we um, decided upon an update of the strategy um, against the backdrop of uh, the Ukrainian war, the Russian-Ukrainian war, and um, the new climate targets uh, this, that Germany has been set uh, after the first um, initial strategy was adopted in 2020. And in this regard, please, uh, to the next slide. Um, just as a little reminder of why are we doing this? Why are we putting so much effort on uh, the ramp up of the hydrogen market? You can see here on this slide um, the GHG emissions uh, of Germany from 1990 and um, up to uh, today and uh, forecast for the future. As you can see, some progress uh, has been made over the last years. But in order to reach our ambitious climate targets, which foresee uh, climate neutrality by 2045, um, a lot more has to be done. And uh, this won't be possible without um, the usage of hydrogen, especially without green hydrogen. So against this backdrop, um, the update of the National Hydrogen Strategy has been taking place. And uh, the ambitions uh, that were already quite high in the first 2020 strategy uh, have been put a little bit higher in our 23 strategy. On the next slide, uh, you can see the four fields of action that um, Germany has uh, taken uh, into, into our focus for the update of the hydrogen strategy. First of all, obviously, we want to do our very best to ensure that uh, the demand for hydrogen will be met uh, in the next years so that there will be enough hydrogen, especially green hydrogen, to uh, meet the demand in the industry and the other sectors. Secondly, and this goes um, hand in hand with uh, the first ambition, we need a um, ambitious hydrogen infrastructure in order to transport uh, the hydrogen uh, from the outside world into Germany and within Germany. And thirdly, uh, we have to help the various sectors that uh, will offtake the hydrogen uh, to be able to actually do this, uh, as we will see very high prices uh, in the first years to come maybe even in the first decades to come, compared to um, the uh, prices of fossil fuels that have to be um, put out of the market. And uh, fourth, um, last but not least, uh, we have to do a lot more to create good framework conditions in order for uh, all uh, players involved in the value chain to be able to produce the hydrogen, to transport it, to import it, and uh, to use it in the various sectors. So these are the four goals of action uh, that uh, I would like to take a closer look now um, on the next slides. First of all, we're looking at um, our first goal to ensure that uh, the availability of hydrogen will be, uh, will be high enough in the next years. If you could go to the next slide, please. So for 2030, I'm very sorry. I'm just seeing here on the on the um, on the screen that uh, there seems to be a problem with the slides. I hope you can read it uh, here. My printout it looks a little bit different, but I hope still you can read it. Um, there's a little overlap in the in the writing here. Um, well, our first goal is to set up by 2030. 10 gigawatt of electrolyzer capacity within Germany, so that uh, we have um, 
um, a base log of 10 gigawatts uh, production capacity within Germany to meet uh, the baseline of demand uh, within Germany. Um, in total, you can see that on the right side, we foresee a demand by 2013 of 95 up to 100,000, uh, 130, sorry, 130 terawatt hours of uh, hydrogen, um, as I said, by 2013. Um, this means that uh, if we reach our target of 10 gigawatt electrolyzer capacity, there will be a huge gap, um, which has to be filled by imports, uh, approximately in between 45 to 90 terawatt hours of uh, the hydrogen demand will have to be imported into Germany. Currently, uh, around 55 terawatt hours of hydrogen are being used uh, mainly in the, in the industry sector as of now per year. And obviously, this is mainly gray hydrogen, which has to be replaced by green and uh, low carbon hydrogen in the next years. If you could go to the next slide, please. Um, our focus in the National Hydrogen Strategy is obviously on green hydrogen, so hydrogen being produced by, uh, by renewable energy. And we will only provide direct financial support um, when it comes to production of hydrogen for the production of green hydrogen. But uh, obviously, we can't only rely on green hydrogen in the years to come. So uh, in the strategy, after very long discussions within the government, we also agreed upon uh, the openness for blue, orange to cross hydrogen. So uh, low carbon hydrogen techniques that we will also provide financial support for uh, when it comes to the offtake of hydrogen. So on the production side, only financial support for green hydrogen. On the offtake side, also financial support uh, for other forms of uh, low carbon hydrogen. And when it comes to transport infrastructure, obviously um, we will be um, colorblind uh, and provide the necessary infrastructure for uh, all sorts of hydrogen to be uh, to be transported within Germany. Now, looking at the next field of action, if you could go to the uh, next slide, um, this is, uh, as I said, the hydrogen infrastructure. You could skip this one and already go to the next slide. Here you can see a map a draft of the first core grid that uh, Germany is planning to uh, realize by 2032. This will comprise uh, up to approximately 10,000 kilometers of uh, hydrogen pipelines um, throughout Germany. Approximately 60% of these will be refurbished old natural gas uh, pipelines and approximately the other 40% will be newly built uh, hydrogen pipelines. Within the um, IPSA um, process, uh, we have already foreseen roughly 2,000 kilometers of pipelines to be um, being constructed under the IPSA uh, umbrella. And we're currently working on uh, the framework conditions, uh, the rules of regulation for um, the building of the core grid. Uh, including rules on transport tariffs, uh, feeding in tariffs. And also in this regard, we will use um, huge amounts of government money to um, allow for subsidized um, feeding in tariffs in order to allow for, uh, or in order to give the uh, TSOs um, the necessary framework conditions to have the availability to build up this core network that we foresee here by 2032. Now, the next field of action, uh, if you could uh, go to the next slide, or you could skip this slide and go to the second next one, is uh, which sectors uh, do we focus on when it comes to the uh, demand side, to the offtake of hydrogen? Uh, we will focus, obviously, on the hard to abate sectors, uh, mainly the industry sector. In this regard, uh, the government has already um, 
drafted a carbon contract for difference program, which is to being put into action within the next month and which will allow uh, carbon, um, carbon industry to apply for uh, within a bidding procedure to apply for subsidies um, to, uh, to, to, to use green hydrogen and low carbon hydrogen in the next years in order to replace fossil raw materials that are being used right now. For the transport sector, there are also various um, programs and framework conditions. Uh, last least, uh, the Red 2, um, Red 2 um, targets uh, for the transport sector, which have been transformed into national law in Germany. So there already is a high, um, high push for the transport industry to use uh, green hydrogen in the years to come. And we already see a couple of projects in the refinery sectors where refineries uh, are applying for, um, for the necessary conditions in order to use green hydrogen uh, in, their, in their industrial processes. When it comes to um, the power sector and the um, uh, heating sector, if you could go to the next slide, thank you very much. Um, we have already a big focus uh, on the power sector. Um, this is also a big difference to the first hydrogen strategy from 2020, where the power sector did not play a very important role at this point of time. Um, as of now, we see a high demand um, in the power sector by 2045, um, of up to 140 terawatt hours per annum um, only in this sector. And currently, the government is working on a strategy for uh, carbon neutral power plants, which will allow for the building of dedicated hydrogen power plants, but also for uh, H2 ready gas power plants and um, this is to be published um, very shortly and will allow also for up to 16 gigawatt of uh, power sector capacity in the uh, in the years uh, up to 2013. So there will also be a big push uh, on the demand side for, uh, for the offtake of uh, green and low carbon hydrogen. With regard to the building sector, uh, we don't see a very broad application by 2013. So we mainly uh, see um, in, in regional um, clusters, uh, some, some areas where hydrogen might play a role by 2013. In the long term, um, this will be a big um, issue for uh, hydrogen fueled CHP plants and um, in other areas where uh, very high temperature uh, applications are being used. But we don't see broad application in the, in the broad um, level of uh, heating for, for homes for, um, uh, for the whole area of Germany. So if we could go to the last field of action, creating good framework conditions. Um, also here, a lot has been done already. We have put in place uh, some subsidizing um, instruments. I have mentioned already the Carbon Conflicts for Difference program, which is being to be rolled out very shortly. Um, we are being in the process of adopting the uh, Delegated Act on Green, um, green Hydrogen by the European Commission. Um, we are currently working on a law to streamline and simplify the procedures for planning and approval for electrolyzers and uh, pipelines and other transport uh, technologies. So this will be something that will be published probably in, um, in the course of this year. And we have set up um, a number of other uh, financing instruments uh, uh, for, for uh, building um, electrolyzers and also for the offtake of hydrogen in mainly in the industry sector. Um, what we're focusing very much right now on is um, the area of certification and um, accrediting green hydrogen. 
So we're building up a registry, um, first of all, to certify uh, the goals for the transport sector, but also for other industrial sectors in the years to come. Uh, part of this, um, a lot of uh, a lot of instruments also for the import of uh, hydrogen have been set up. I would only like to mention the H2 global mechanism that has been put in place uh, two years ago already, and um, where we have called for uh, bids um, roughly in one mil uh, one billion euros for the import of uh, hydrogen into Germany. We are currently working on a new call for bids, uh, which is to be published uh, also in a short time frame and where the government has planned to use um, roughly 3 billion euros additionally in order to uh, call for the import of green hydrogen into Germany. Mm -hmm.